check it out. So, the auto sprout broccoli batch. It's just done. And as you can see, the results are quite perfect. Here we go. That's one tray right there. Green, crisp, really nice. And you have the second one right there. There you go. One other cool thing here is that we've been testing a unique broccoli sprout mesh that is very fine. And the reason for, for that is because broccoli sprouts have these fine cobweb-like roots. So this is not mold, what you see here. This is just the root structure. And to make it very easy to harvest, we don't want the entire roots to go through. We also want them to be long and crisp. So now in your auto sprout, you will actually get a mesh like this. And you can buy more if you only want to grow broccoli sprouts. Oh, now let me show you how I actually harvest some of these broccoli sprouts. Yeah, you can just pull and there you go. Some of you may want to wash them. Some people actually likes to put them in a 70 degrees Celsius to activate the sulforaphane even more. But personally, I just like to eat them like this. And the quality is so clean and crisp. So let's have a look. You taste? Mm. Really good. Quite spicy. You know that broccoli sprout flavor when you eat it, right? Another important thing to mention about broccoli sprouts is that seed germination rate is very, very important. So having the right type of seed has a lot to do with the result. So this broccoli seed type here is really, really good. But we have tried other seed types that are a lot harder to get to, to germinate. So you should try and experiment. Don't give up with the first type of seeds. Book a few different types and then you can see that you'll get this type of success every time. So here you can see that we just actually have about 10 milliliters. And this will actually equate to about, yeah, around 200 grams, actually. So it's almost 20 times. But we can actually probably increase to 15 milliliters of seeds the next time to get a full, full tray.